All right, we are back with the GSMC Wrestling Lottery Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Just kind of reflecting on what we talked about right quick, we had our uh, we had our WWE NXT review, we had our AEW Dynamite review as well. And now, without further ado, we're going to talk about some TNA and some Ring of Honor. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, jump right on into it. Can't wait. It was a great, uh, you know, I heard it was a great show. I did a little bit of research on it. So let's go ahead and talk about some TNA. Obviously, we are live tonight, November 7th, 2024. Last week on Impact, you saw Danny Luna square off against Ash by Elegance, but Heather by Elegance quickly intervened, costing Luna the match. So, you know, you know, basically, you know, heading toward a, you know, a knockout championship match between uh, Heather and Ash by Elegance. So that's not really much of a surprise. Um, you saw in a thrilling battle of the TNA Knockout Championship at Bound for Glory, Master Slamovich defeated the juggernaut Jordan Grace to become the new champion. Now the former rivals were team up against Ashley Edwards and Tasha Seals in a must-see tag team match. Can Grace and Slamovich work together after their brutal showdown? So uh, yeah, let's not uh, let's not miss it. Tensions rose last week when Moose interrupted Mike Bailey while he was consoling Trent Seven with his sights set on. Bailey's X Division Championship Moose now challenges him on Impact, promising uh, you know high stakes clash for that title. And uh, you know uh, I I I I hate it. This is awful. This is terrible booking right off the bat. I don't think this is really good. I don't think this is going to prove any kind of dividends in terms of you know the the um, the story or the character that is Moose or Mike Bailey. So I you know I don't, I don't like it. I you know I hate it. I feel like Moose should be more of a heavyweight title contender. That's like somebody, you know, Mike Tyson going down to the boxing rings to fight like a like a, a light heavyweight. Like, you know, those things don't really, you know, it doesn't happen. And, you know, once when you kind of confuse those storylines between each other, it doesn't really work out. So, obviously, I hope that TNA does not put the X Division Championship on Moose, I feel like that would be more detrimental to the to the brand more than like a positive. Next, after a tough a tough loss at Bound for Glory for uh, you know the world title implications, Nick Nemeth revealed that he wanted to give Joe Henry a title rematch, but Santino shut it down. This led Nemeth and Hardy teaming up in the main event on Impact against the system. But the miscommunication saw Henry accidentally clothesline Nemeth, costing them the match. Tensions boiled, boiled over backstage with Ryan uh, and uh, with Ryan Nemeth blaming Hardy for the loss. What will Joe Henry have to say about all that? You know, we're going to find out tonight. And then, of course, we're going to have Wendy Chu. Wendy Chu from NXT and Rosemary. Uh, Rosemary shocked the world at Bound for Glory by turning on her tag partner, NXT's Wendy Chu. Now they clash at no rules, no DQ match at TNA Impact. And, uh, you know, this chaotic showdown should be pretty badass. I can't wait to see what these girls have, uh, you know, have in store, uh, you know, for each other. All right, next we have Ring of Honor. It's Thursday night. You know what that means. Ring of Honor, Honor Club 89 is happening in your vicinity. We're going to see the premier athlete, Josh Woods, take on AR Fox in a match tonight. Can't wait to see that. Next, we're going to see uh, the conglomeration, Stomo Hero, Ishii, and Aaron Solo going one-on-one. -on -one. That should be a good one as well. You know, the Stone Pitbull, I love Tomohiro Ishii. I feel like he's great. I ultimately feel like he's, um, you know, he's going to be one of the main future superstars in terms of Tony Khan's, you know, promotion from, uh, you know, you have him, you know, kicking ass on AEW and then you're going to have him on New Japan Professional Wrestling. I feel like it's, um, you know, it's like a match made in heaven. Diamante taking on Rachel Ellinger. Rachel Ellinger has been, without a doubt, she's been impressive. She's been very, very impressive. You know, she hasn't really had that spark that a lot of these young women superstar, you know, they, they kind of have. You know, she's been back and forth in terms of winning, winning. But with the, you know, with the win, she can turn it all around. And with the, you know, fighting somebody like Diamante, you know, could be pretty badass. We have a one-on-one -on -one Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champion, Sammy Guevara, taking on Preston Vance. We also have the Fallen, no, not the Fallen Goddess. We have the wrestler, Akatsuri Shibata, taking on the Butcher. Should be interesting to find out what's going on with this uh, Shane Taylor's promotions. The Righteous, uh, Dutch, and Vincent 
and we're going to have the Shane Taylor promo uh, promotions. Uh, you know, they own the infantry, Charlie Bravo and Captain Sean Dean. We're going to have the Spanish announced project and Henry Cohen Serpentico, EJ Unduku and Lee Johnson's going to be in action. Legit Layla Hirsch will return. Patriarchy's Nick Wayne will be in action. Obviously, a lot of action, a lot of action surrounding TNA, a lot of action surrounding uh, Ring of Honor. So, hey, do not miss uh, any of it on this beautiful, amazing Thursday, uh, Thursday night. So, hey, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, jump on into our next segment. We're going to go in and talk about uh, Roxanne Perez. Sorry, excuse me. Roxanne Perez, is she the future in WWE NXT? Possibility. We're going to dive on into it when we come back. So, hey, do not go anywhere. <laughs> 